Hello friends and welcome to this 22nd edition of the Miscellany for 2021. I'm Mike Birmingham and this week we see an ancient Greek computer look at Dublin in the 70s and 80s, ask what would happen if all the ice melted in the entire world and see a dog working out. First to our brain teaser. When you have me, you immediately feel like sharing me. But if you do share me, you do not have me. What is it? The answer to come at the end. Some vintage pictures now. Some images now of some famous historical figures. First here's Fidel Castro and Che Guevara on a fishing trip in 1960. Mother Theresa next, where is she? She's on the left of this picture, age 13, taken in the year 1923. And now to American law enforcement officer Wyatt Earp, taken here at his home on August 9th, 1923, and his age 75. Finally, a rare picture of the Big O, otherwise known as Roy Orbison, in a rare picture taken without his glasses. Pretty woman. Now to world of mystery. In 1900, Fragments of encrusted bronze dating to the 1st century BC were recovered from an ancient shipwreck off the island of Antikythera near Crete. In 1958, science historian Dr. Derek de Sola Price recognised the importance of the discovery. X-rays of the fragments revealed a system of over 20 gear wheels and engraved scales. He deduced that there was an ancient mechanical device, computing device no less, used to work out the motions of the sun, the moon and the planets. It is thought by some that it possibly could have been made by somebody from the Hipparchos school. Hipparchos, who was born in 190 BC and lived till 120 BC, was a Greek astronomer, geographer and mathematician of the Hellenistic period. Nothing like this computer, by the way, was seen in Europe until 1,000 years later, and there's no trace in ancient Greek records of such technology. To Nostalgia Ireland now. Some events from this week back in time include May 30th, 1986, Connacht Regional Airport at Knock County Mayo, later to become Ireland Airport West, is officially opened. 1979, RTE2, now 2FM, makes its debut, and here's the late Larry Gogan introducing the service. Thank you very much indeed, Brendan, and welcome to the first show on Radio 2. Yeah, well, we've been waiting for uh, oh, an all-day nationwide music station for a long time. Now we have it. We're going to bring you 19 and a half hours of the best sounds every day. Music for everyone. Our first disc comes from the five Dublin lads who took the international scene by storm and proved an Irish group could top the British chart. Yes, indeed, the Boomtown Rats. Like clockwork, lads. What a legend, Larry Gogan. June 1st, 1958, the Clean Air Act comes into force and on June 4th, 1978, Belfast flute player James Galway reaches number 10 in the British charts with Annie's Song. In a four-part series, we have been remembering old Dublin in a slideshow of nostalgic pictures. This final part and fourth part takes us back to the 1970s and 1980s.
some lovely memories there. To question of the week now. If all the ice melted in the world, would the world actually be submerged or only a few places by their shorelines? Well, this is a map of North America. And this is Europe. The light blue is currently land that would be submerged after the melt. Now, this is the world. The world has a history of continents being submerged and rising as it goes through ice ages and thaws. The last little ice age occurred during medieval times. And the problem is, is that history of continent submersion happens over very long timescales. The little ice age was relatively a minor cooling incident and the current global warming already eclipses the equivalent cooling during the Little Ice Age and is going to get a lot worse in subsequent decades. We witness the rise of this through extreme weather events which are becoming even more commonplace. And now to video video. Ah dogs. Man's best friend and all that, woman's best friend too. Intelligent animals that can be very tuned in to their owner's vibes and their ways. So much so, we go to Australia now and see a border collie who has decided to take part in his owner's exercise routine. Clever dog, that. The natural enemy of the dog is traditionally the cat, at least in Tom and Jerry cartoons. To America now and a virtual meeting of lawyers that doesn't go quite to plan. One of these lawyers appears to have a filter enabled on his smartphone. Mr. Ponton, I believe you have a filter turned on in the video settings. You might want to uh, uh, take, take we're a We're trying look. to, we're tr can you hear me, Judge? I can hear you. I think it's a filter. It, in the it is, and I don't know how to remove it. I've got my assistant here. She's trying to, but uh, I'm prepared to go forward with it. That's, I'm here live. That's not, I'm not a cat. I can, I can see that. Yeah, I even have difficulty getting to grips with modern tech, so I feel for that guy. Now our brain teaser answer. When you have me, you immediately feel like sharing me, but if you do share me, you do not have me. What is it? Did you get it? It is shh, a secret. Final word, quote or affirmation, words of comfort and inspiration. Things you don't need to feel guilty about. Leaving a job that drains the life out of you. Declining a phone call. Doing what's best for you, despite what others think or say. Saying no to others. One of the most powerful words in the language, English language, is the word no. Sleeping in. Asking for your needs to be met. Your dreams and aspirations. Your spiritual beliefs. Removing someone from your life. Spending money on something you want or need. Taking a break from social media. Setting boundaries and sticking to them. These are all things that you do not feel or need to feel guilty about. Thanks to Maris Arnie Bailey for that. So a couple of things of interest over the last week. Thank you so much for looking in. As always, we're on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. And leave us a comment if you'd like to see uh, something included that we haven't done so already. Until next time, thanks so much for watching again. Be good to each other and we'll talk soon. Bye bye. From the home studio of Michael Birmingham.